Hello, everybody, and welcome to Social Quiz Dancing Week 2. This is our little tiny quiz um, that we bring you once a week um, to give you a bit of fun, keep your brain sharp, and your um, trivia sense tingling. Is that gross? That might be gross. Um, <laughs> so, uh, welcome. Um, uh, thank you for joining us this week. Thank you for joining us last week, if you joined us last week. Um, it's great to see you. I'm Ryan, uh, the Digital Services Coordinator at the Dozen Fish Library. Um, I'm coming to you from my house. I hope I'm coming to you in your house um, or wherever you happen to be quarantined. Um, so um, we're going to do similar to what we did last week. I'm going to read you five general knowledge questions, five connections round um, questions in which I give you four apparently random clues and you try to tell me what the hidden connection is between those clues and then five in a special round. Last week we did animal, vegetable, and criminal. Um, this week we have a slightly different round. Um, uh, so we're gonna start in just a second. Um, if you have any quiz questions that you've been saving and you would like to um, to submit them as quiz questions for us to do on the show, um, just email ryan at desmondfishlibrary.org. Um, so without further ado, now one thing I, I happen to notice about this week um, is that I have quite a lot of bird questions. Um, I didn't intend this. Um, perhaps my brain is just slightly birdy, um, but we've got quite a lot of bird questions this week. So um, that's kind of a hidden connection that maybe helps you solve a couple of these clues. Okay, and to begin our first question, um, we have a bit of a bird question as well. What is the name of a parrot in a Disney film and also one of the great Shakespearean villains? So give me the name that those two things share, a parrot in a Disney film and a great Shakespearean villain. If you see me looking in two places, it's because I'm looking uh, at our Facebook live stream and our Instagram live stream. Um, Feel free to stop and say hello, although if you are on um, our Instagram live stream right now, I will not hear you. Okay. Question two. In 2011, NASA selected what they consider to be the seven most plausible science fiction movies. Can you guess any one of those seven? So any one of what NASA considers to be the most plausible science fiction movies. Um, why not give yourself a little point for any one that you get right? Um, I'll be reading the answers right after we finish the quiz, so you may want to pause after we finish the quiz and, and do that. Um, I think last week we waited a couple of hours and did a separate cast with the, with the answers, but this week we're going to do them right now. Okay. All right. Now, this next question, um, I don't know that anyone's going to know offhand, although you may be able to guess. Um, but if you, if you happen to know this truly incredible question, um, uh, give yourself like a thousand points. Okay. What notable feature distinguishes the lead singer of the death metal band Hatebeak? What notable feature distinguishes the lead singer of the death metal band Hatebeak? Okay. That was number three. Number four. Called in Mandarin the business goose. New colonies of this animal can be identified from space by the giant poo stains they leave on ice. Can you name this animal? Benedict Cumberbatch cannot. So with a name in, man in Mandarin that means business goose, new colonies of this animal can be identified from space by the giant poo stains they leave on ice. You may be able to name this, but Benedict Cumberbatch cannot. Okay, that was number four of our general knowledge questions. Question five for general knowledge. Put the Spice Girls in alphabetical order. First you have to know the Spice Girls, and then you have to put them in alphabetical order. These are not their proper names. These are their true spiritual names, which are their Spice Girl names. Okay, put the Spice Girls in alphabetical order. All right, now we come to round two. This is the connections round. Um, I will give you four apparently random clues and you have to find the hidden connection between those four clues. So if I gave you John, Paul, George, and Ringo, the answer would be, 
They are all first names of beetles, right? First names of beetles. Okay, let's start. Okay, so your first hidden connection, dreadful. So give yourself four points if you get it after the first clue, three points if you get it after the second clue, two points if you get it after the third clue, and one single point if you get it after those clues. Now, keep in mind that the points mean nothing and it doesn't matter, but so, you know, do whatever you want, but if you want to do it. All right, first clue is dreadful. Second is stock, lane, and pincher. Dreadful, stock, lane, and pincher. What do those four things have in common? Ooh, okay. <laughs> Next one, we have mash, smash, flash, and mash again. You're going to kick yourself if you don't get this. Mash, smash, flash, and mash. And I will, uh, I will give you the hint that the connection is not that they all rhyme. So other than the fact that they all rhyme, what is the hidden connection between those four? Okay. If you said that they all rhyme, congratulations, you can hear. Give yourself a half a point for that. That's great. Or read. Okay. So in this one, first clue is Moa. Moa. Bishops, ooh, great auk, or auk, it's auk, but it might be auk, and dodo, moa, bishops, ooh, great auk, and dodo. All right. Number four, connections. Norman Osborne, David Bowie in Labyrinth. A thing that my wife has pointed out to me, I say with two syllables um, when it should be three syllables and now I'm really self-conscious about it. So um, that's cool. Ghosts in, so whatever goes in that blank hard to do this because it's like reversed when I'm looking at the screen. <laughs> and owners and operators of Gringotts Bank. So Norman Osborne, David Bowie in Labyrinth, owners and operators of Gringotts Bank, and ghosts in blank. So your clues. Another clue. First is Slowpoke, Vaporeon, Psyduck, and Squirtle. Slowpoke, Vaporeon, Psyduck, and Squirtle. What is the hidden connection between those four things? All right. That's the end of our sequences round, and now our third and final round, the special round, this week is called Lost in Translation. And so what happens is this week I sent the titles from very famous books um, out through various Google Translate paths um, and then back to English. So these are mistranslated um, f titles of famous books. Okay? So the first one, so see, tell me what these translate to, what these titles should be. That's pretty self, that's pretty obvious, right? Okay. First one is Anger of Grapes. Anger of Grapes. The next one, 
big anticipation. Big anticipation. Lord with tequila-based cocktail. The answer to that one is not you in social distancing. And last one, noisy outrage. Noisy outrage. So each of those has a title and we have one final one that warrants its own. Expansive record of the mechanical toy bird. Expansive record of the mechanical toy bird. Okay. If you need more time on these, feel free to go or pause me. Um, if you can pause a live, I know you can't on Instagram, but um, pause me on Facebook or something and go away. Um, or just listen as I ramble for a few minutes to, to help you finish any answers you couldn't get, because I'm gonna read you the answers right. Now. Okay, first question in the general knowledge, round, general knowledge round. I asked you, what is the name of a parrot in the Disney film? And also one of the great Shakespearean villains. It was, of course, Iago. Iago. Othello, one of the great works. English literature that I could not, unfortunately, translate poorly. Because it's only, uh, it's only the word Othello, really. Um, all right. Um, question two, I said, I asked you in 2011, NASA selected what they considered to be the seven most plausible science fiction movies. Can you guess any one of them? So I'm going to read you the seven in order, of course, um, and give yourself a point for anyone that you got. The first is the magnificent Gattaca, which is a really great movie. If you haven't seen it in a long time, I think that we have that in the collection, um, uh, which is inaccessible to you right now, but soon you'll be able to take that out from at least one library in our system, I'm sure. All right. Um, two, Contact, the Jodie Foster movie. Three is Fritz Lang's Metropolis. Um, four is The Day the Earth Stood Still, the original 1951 version. Uh, five is Woman in the Moon, one that I don't know, actually, a 1929 movie. Um, called Woman in the Moon. Um, six is The Thing from Another World, 1951. And seven, surprisingly and delightfully, is Jurassic Park. Isn't that great? Someday. Someday. Okay. Now, the next one I asked you, and I realized that this was an impossible question for many of you, um, but I just thought it was so wonderful I had to do it. Um, what notable feature distinguishes the lead singer of the death metal band Hatebeak? And if you could tell from the title of the band and the theme of this quiz, which is birds, the lead singer of the death metal band Hatebeak is a parrot named Waldo. Life is beautiful. All right, next one. Called in Mandarin, the business goose. New colonies of this animal can be identified from space by the giant poo stains they leave on ice. You could name it, Benedict Cumberbatch cannot. It is the penguin. The penguin. Or as Benedict Cumberbatch pronounces in the documentary, which I really suggest you Google Benedict Cumberbatch penguin because you'll get the supercut of the fact that he cannot say penguin and calls them pinglings and penguins and all sorts of things. Apparently can't say that word. Just like I apparently can't say the word labyrinth. So there you go. All right, and I asked you to put the Spice Girls in alphabetical order. They are Baby, Ginger, Posh, Scary, and Sporty. I didn't even have to write that down because I love the Spice Girls. Okay. All right. So the next one I asked you, um, I have my little things here that I've thrown on the ground. Um, the next one in the connections round, I asked you what the connection was between... <laughs> Everything is everywhere. Dreadful, Stock, Lane, and Pincher. It was, of course, that they can be preceded by the word Penny. Penny Dreadful, Penny Stock, Penny Lane, Penny Pincher. Yep. Pennies. Next one was Mash, 
smash, flash, and mash? The answer is the monster mash. They are the end words to the um, chorus of the monster mash. It was the monster mash, it was a graveyard smash, they were gone in a flash, and it was the monster mash. Next one I asked you, the Moa, Bishop's Ooh, the Great Auk, or Auk, I don't know how to say it, and Dodo. These are all extinct birds. Extinct birds. Birds again! Look at that, birds. So much quizzing about birds. At least there's no native alphabet this week. Okay. Next is Norman Osborne, David Bowie in Labyrinth. Ghosts in Blank and Owners and Operators of Gringotts Bank. These are all goblins. Goblins. Norman Osborn is the Green Goblin in Spider-Man. David Bowie in Labyrinth is the Goblin King. The classic video game Ghosts and Goblins, which is essentially impossible. And the Owners and Operators of Gringotts Bank are, of course, goblins in Harry Potter. The Connections round. Now, on to our Lost in Translation round. The first thing I asked you was um, Anger of Grapes. Anger of Grapes was, of course, Grapes of Wrath. Um, big Anticipation, that was uh, Great Expectations, um, routed through Korean and Romanian and Russian and back to English. Um, Lord with tequila-based cocktail is Master and Margarita. Master and Margarita. Spelt differently, but I think. Maybe not. Master and Margarita. Um, noisy Outrage is, of course, The Sound and the Fury. This is a very aggressive group of things. And then our last birdish one. Oh, wait, I missed a connections round question. Ah, I can't believe it. Um, well, let's finish out the Lost in Translation round and then I'll do the last connections question. Um, okay, that shows me for theatrically throwing my papers on the floor. Um, <laughs> Expansive records of the mechanical toy bird is the Wind Up Bird Chronicles. The Wind Up Bird Chronicles. And our last connections round question are Slowpoke, Vaporeon, Psyduck, and Squirtle. And a question suggested by my daughter, these are all Pokemon. They're just Pokemon. They're actually all water Pokemon, because I thought there should be another connection, but they're all just Pokemon. So... That's it. Thank you for joining us for a social quiz to sing this week. I hope you had a good time. Um, let us know how you did. Send me your point total. Um, and um, would love to see you next week. Uh, presumably same time. Do let us know if you prefer around... Uh, Mrs. Mary is going to start reading a chapter book um, every night for, for slightly older kids um, as a bedtime story um, every single night at seven o'clock. So we're going to be moving this quiz either to six or eight. So do let us know if you prefer six or eight. Um, for the live cast, I'll, always this is um, saved on our Facebook, on our Instagram for the next 24 hours, and um, on our YouTube account. So we will see you next week. Thank you for joining us on Social Quiz Dancing. I hope you did well. I hope you have fun. I hope you're safe and happy. Um, go wash your hands and um, call someone who might be lonely. Um, thanks for joining us. Bye.